Alright, cool. So guys, this is a drawing showcase and a drawing tutorial video. These are all the drawings I've done in the, the UK's, I think it's the third not lockdown now. Um, yeah, 2021 and I started drawing again from my favourite Star Wars characters. Most of you will notice that these are sort of troopers with helmets because I find them easier to draw than humans because just noses and eyes I, I'm not very good at. But Darth Maul was ironically the first one I did and he has both nose and eyes but I didn't really have to do much nose detailing because all he has is patterns on his face and the eyes were very easy because they were literally just dots in the middle. Now how I do my drawings, I, I literally just look up on the internet, Darth Maul's face, it will show up with an image, and then I just copy it exactly, I tried to copy all the patterns, and I think it turned out pretty good. Obviously I've got the horns, because he is a knight brother, and because obviously for some of these are troopers, and I just look up for their helmet, I have to look up. So for example, if I was going to draw a Stormtrooper, I'd look up Stormtrooper helmet to get that close detailing. Then afterwards, I would look up Stormtrooper armor to get the to get the armor right. And that's what I did with Darth Maul. I searched up for his body or his robes. Next up, I'm going to show this double spread page. This is Boba Fett from The Mandalorian. I try. I'll bring him up to the camera. Because these are ones, one of the ones that I'm more proud of because I think it, I just, I'm proud of myself for this one because I think it turned out amazing. I've tried to get the scarf right and obviously the helmet doesn't fit him like it used to so it looks a little off. So yeah, but I think it turned out great. And next I'll bring him up. It's Captain Rex, the Phase 2 helmet. I think the detailing on this, I think I did pretty well. I loved Season 7 of the Clone Wars, and I absolutely loved Captain Rex's helmet. And I drew it here with all the patterns and everything. And I've got the tallies on the side. The drawing, you might notice, is a little slanted, because I drew on an angle while looking at the image on my laptop. Next, we have the Second Sister, or the Inquisitor from Jedi. You will recognise it from the game Jedi Fallen Order. Um, yeah, she was pretty cool in that game. Um, spoiler, she dies in the end, but most of you who watch my videos will probably have played the game already, but I think the helmet just looked really cool, and I just looked up on the internet again, second sister helmet, and then this showed up, and then for the body, um, she doesn't really wear armor, it's more of a uniform, I looked up, um, the second sister Jedi Fallen Order and then it will just show up with their full body. Next we have an Imperial Guard, or I just call them Red Guards because they wear all red. I don't know the exact name for them, but they were really easy to draw. Obviously, just a simple helmet and plain red robes. Next we have a Scout Trooper. And this one was one of, another one that I'm really proud of. You, you might think that it's a simple drawing, and it pretty much is. It's not too hard, but... I just like the way it turned out. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to be. And, yeah, it's a pretty nice drawing. I just looked up again, Scout Trooper helmet, and then I look up Scout Trooper armor to get the armor. Next, we have a Shore Trooper, this one. Um, you might be able to see if I bring it right up close that I've made a lot of rubbings out and markings all over him because it took a little time, a uh, little bit of time for me to get the helmet right because... These two bits here, I feel like they're just too short, you know, they're meant to be a bit longer on the side. But I think it turned out decent. It, you can tell it's a saw trooper, and that's just all I want. I don't want it to be an extremely detailed drawing. Next up, we've got Kylo Ren. Here's one of my more failed ones, because you can probably see here, I tried to get him holding his lightsaber, but it looks ridiculous when I had these tiny arms in over the cloak. So I had to rub that all out and draw a cloak. But let's forget about that and just look at the helmet i think it i think i did okay with the helmet it doesn't look too bad next we have a praetorian guard and how i actually drew this is i had this guy over here he's a figure um um a big figure i think it's six eight inch 12 inch i'm not sure the size of him but there's a pretty cool figure and that's how i drew this guy here, you can see the resemblance. 
hopefully. And yeah, just another look. It was again one of the easier ones, except for the helmet lines. Had to make sure they were straight, so. Next up, this is probably the, my favourite one that I've done. It's my Commander Cody Phase 2 helmet. Commander Cody is my favourite clone. I, I love Captain Rex, but Commander Cody is just my favourite. Now in my animation, the stop motion, which I try to do. Um, again, guys, that was just a practice. I'm not very good at stop motion, so I'm still learning. But here's my Commander Cody Phase 2. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty nicely. And here, the last one of the showcase, then we're going to get into the tutorial. Um, this is Starkiller from the game. Is it for Yeah, Force Unleashed is the name. Um, that was a great game. I loved that game. And here's Starkiller, which is the main character from it, Darth Vader's Apprentice. Um, but yeah, guys, so let's get into the tutorial and a nice fresh page.